Hello everyone, Andre from Survival Zone Africa. Thanks for joining me again. Guys, I just want to first of all apologize. You know, it's been a year since I've been on YouTube. I took a little bit of a break, uh, mainly due to uh, I had a career change and um, you know, I had to settle in and so on. So I really apologize to all my faithful subscribers out there. Um, but I'm very, very excited today because uh, Survival Zone Africa is back on track and um, you know I've got a lot of new equipment that I that I did manage manage to get over the last year and um, yeah stuff at home sorted out so um, we are ready to go and I'm very very excited today because I've got a, a knife that um, I bought about eight nine months ago um, it did not have a lot of uh, a lot of usage time but I'm, I'm super excited it's a knife that I that I wanted since the first day I saw it on uh, on Chris's channel, Prepared Mind 101, and um, you all know this one. It's the the Homer Field Knife from Tops, uh, designed by Andy Trand. And right off the bat, guys, I need to say, Andy, well done, mate. Um, this, in my opinion, is really, really. This is a true, true survival knife, guys. Um, it was basically designed to be a one tool option um, I'm not necessarily a one tool guy you know I normal I normally carry two or three knives out when I go fishing hunting but um, this is just a phenomenal I mean this is just a true piece of art if you ask me um, we can quickly do a few specs for you I mean the overall length on this is 13.95 inches You've got a blade length of about 7.7 .7 inches. Um, you know, the uh, actual cutting edge is 7.3 uh, inches. And then you've got the, the top section over there, which is also razor, razor sharp. I mean, that alone is about 2.7 inches of, of, of just cutting edge. So, very, very nice. The, it does have a little bit of, uh, it's got two notches right in the top. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I must say I tried to actually cut wire with it I didn't really come right um, it's you know that's that's basically something that I would not use except uh, it does take a pot off the fire quite nicely um, it's got a very very nice finger choil you know for so you've got so much grip and so much control you know with this blade even the handle I mean uh, the handle is basically a um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tan canvas micata with a, a nice little divot there for a, for a bow drill on both sides. Very, very nice. I mean, the ergonomics on this handle is just phenomenal, you know. So, what a, what a nice knife. Um, it's got the Topps Black River Wash coating on the blade, which just gives it a nice artistic look. Um, and just, just what, a, what, a, what a knife. Um, it's got the sheath is basically the same uh, nylon ballistic like uh, like you know top scott I'm not too too keen on on this type of uh, this type of sheath it does have uh, molly adjustments at the back um, you know the knife basically uh, clips with with basically two two velcro strips it's not really a clip um, so that's it's not something that I would that I would like. I might get a Kydex sheath for this a little bit later. But um, in front it's got a little bit of a pouch. A little pouch where you can actually put some stuff, fire steel, tinder and so on in. Uh, it comes with a with the normal, uh, you know, the normal tops whistle. And um, you know, but like I said, I think I think um, not bad. I mean you don't buy a tops knife for the sheath. You buy it for the knife itself. The steel is basically 1095 high carbon steel. Uh, it's got a Rockwell hardness of between, I think it's 57 and 58. So um, again, you know, just, just a very, very nice survival knife. Um, you know, I did not have a lot of time actually testing it out, but uh, let's quickly see. Let's, uh, I mean, just, just, just normal. I mean, this is just normal pine, um, you know. So let's see in terms of uh, just, uh, a little bit of notching, you know, carves pretty well. You know, and again with the with the finger choil, you know, it really, really works works really well. You know, uh, let's see if we can 
do a bit of uh, feather sticks. I've got so much control of this blade, you know, and uh, there you go. It's, and of course, this blade is razor, razor, razor sharp. I didn't even, I mean, look at those curls. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful curls. There you go. I mean, it's really not bad. You know, and I don't, I'm not a bushcrafting uh, expert. You know, I hardly, hardly even make feather sticks. But very, very nice, nice knife. Um, what did I pay for it? Well, it was a little bit on the, on the high end. You know, you must remember, we, unfortunately, where we live in Africa, southern part of Africa, you know, the Rand Dahl exchange rate is literally killing us. I paid in the region of about, at the time, I think it was about 3,800 Rand. Um, I know at the moment the Rand dollar is something like 17 Rand to the, to, to the dollar, so it's a bit steep. But nevertheless, Andy, um, wow, what a, what a great knife, mate. I really think you've outdone yourself. Um, it's got a little bit of a hole over there for... Um, um, I haven't really tried it to pull maybe a bullet if you maybe want to use it for uh, you know for, for to get to the powder to start a fire um, but nevertheless it's got it's got very very nice jumping at the top not not overly aggressive and again you know I think with the finger choil it just gives you so much purchase the handle also the ergonomics on the handle is just just wonderful hey so yeah definitely a keeper I would really really highly recommend you you're going out yourself and, and get a knife like this at the back it's got a it's not really a pommel it's it's more like a like a little bit of a pry bar I'm not sure how effective that will be um, obviously a lanyard a lanyard hole for a lanyard I've just got a piece of paracord over here I just give you so much so much purchase um, I'm not really gonna gonna baton I it's just something that I don't believe in doing um, we all know the knife can baton it's strong enough but um, you know, for a one one tool option, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, again, I'm not a one tool option guy. I, I normally carry a few a few blades with me when I go out. But five out of five, Andy. I really think this this is really really a good blade, eh? And I would really highly recommend. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this this knife. So um, yeah, guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, like I said, we're back on track again. Please check us out on Facebook. Um, survival zone Africa I would actually the description box below I would leave my uh, my email address and um, yeah please contact me if there's anything you know like I said we, we live in the southern part of Africa you know um, everything is harder you know every everything wants to sting you kill you bite you so um, yeah something we uh, we have to deal with and uh, you know to be able to test new equipment you know out in the out in the African bush is just uh, such a privilege so guys, yeah, thank you so much and um, until next time, thank you.